Name. Institution affiliation. Date. Introduction. Student mental health problem is on the rise in campuses around the world. This mainly triggered by problems faced by college students while attending college. Traditional university students started university after finishing secondary school, are usually younger, and depend on their parents for monetary support. Apart from pressure associated to educational burden, these learners may take adult-like tasks without having learned the abilities and reasoning of adults. For instance, majority of traditional university learners may face possibly traumatic experiences, which includes employment, being in a serious relationship, which may possibly lead to marriage, or cultural diversity. Non-traditional university learners are regularly working on full-time basis. Therefore, these learners may experience challenges in meeting family and work in addition to educational needs. In these contexts, a high number of college learners may experience exacerbation or stress. The Healthy Minds Study, HMS, reveal that there is high and increasing incidence of eating disorders, depression, suicidality, anxiety, and other distresses in learner populations over few years. HMS information show that about one out of three learners meet standards for mental health problem, self-injury, anxiety, depression, and eating disorder. This converts to closely 17 million learners worldwide. Australian College of Mental Health Nursing 41st International Mental Health Nursing Conference Mental Health Nurses Shifting Culture Leading Change 2015 University grounds can be contributory in the stoppage and initial treatment of mental health illnesses. The ability of universities to get involved in the issue important for a learner's well-being and the economic, social, educational, well-being of learners, communities, and broader society. The Institution Center on Learner Mental Well-Being benefits both its economic and academic well-being. Research documents the impact of untreated mental health issues on the GPA, registration discontinuity, as well as dropping out. Programs and resources focused on learner mental well-being directly expand learners' well-being and can also benefit universities and the society by improving learner persistence, Kennedy, 2015. Prevalence of mental health illnesses Majority mental health illnesses have their highest onset all through young adulthood. Joshi G. et al., 2012, perceived that 75% of students aged of 25 years students who will have a psychological well-being illness have had their first onset. Anxiety illnesses are the most widespread psychiatric complications amongst college learners, with nearly 11.9% of university learners with anxiety illness. Amongst the anxiety illnesses, social paranoia has an early age of start da, while post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, panic disorder, and generalized anxiety disorders, GAD, have slightly later onsets, Kennedy, 2015. Effects of age of start on course of psychopathology. When evaluating university learners, it is important to define age of start of present psychopathology. Especially, time of diagnosis of mental well-being illness is related to poor result and may be linked with a diverse presentation from that of later onset. For instance, numerous research have established that early onset anxiety illnesses are linked with chronicity and greater risk than the adult onset. The childhood onset anxiety seems to rise the possibility of the increase of various consequent psychiatric conditions. Initial age of start of obsessive compulsive illness is linked with symptomatology greater proportions of comorbid tick illnesses and greater incidence of tick-like compulsions. Correspondingly, an earlier onset of bipolar condition is challenging since it is linked with greater risk for substance use and co-occurring psychiatric illnesses, more mixed presentations, as well as increased disease load. Likewise, research indicate that onset of schizophrenia. Research reporting a lower psychosocial activities and poor long-lasting result linked to early onset schizophrenia. Importance of early diagnosis of mental fitness issues and outreach policies. Amongst university learners, mental health complications. Joshi G et al., 2012, through research information on 763 learners, indicated that 60% of people who experienced mental health issues later 
The rate of persistence varied amongst illnesses. Of the learners with depression, 27% experienced it two years later. Suicidal thoughts and self-injury behavior also persisted. How social media apps can improve students' well-being. Social media researchers have largely focused on how it affects the lives of youth and college learners, and many researches have established deleterious effects. However, a new research contends that negatively linked with the usage of social media can be attributed to life phases rather than the technology use. The Michigan State University Social Media Study indicated regular usage of social media can enhance mental health amongst college students and help increase the risk of serious psychological suffering such as anxiety and depression. The current research involves creating social media platform where can students can share their problems and different extracurriculum activities and also form discussion groups. Conclusion In conclusion, mental health complications are common amongst university learners. Academic pressure together with stressors typical of joining university may take part in the initial onset of mental well-being and substance abuse problems. Frequently the psychopathology is usually chronic because of low percentage of care seekers and low observance to treatment. Therefore, it is important to have outreach plans and apply policies to encourage care retention. Bearing the fact that a high number of traditional learners still rely on their family for support, parental participation in treatment of mental health problems is vital. Lastly, given the effect that educational activities may have on continuity of treatment, it is important for doctors to make sure that learners receive treatment all year round and to collaborate with different doctors, which may be integrated in the learner's treatment. Therefore, specialist in family dynamics, developmental psychopathology, mental college problems, as well as systems of treatment is vital to carry out clinical treatment to university students. References Australian College of Mental Health Nursing 41st International